Hello YouTube, this is Joy with We Are The Resistance. Been a minute or two since I've been out here, but thought I'd shoot a video. Hopefully I can get it done before this storm coming in. We've got thunder in the background. But uh, a couple of things I'm going to go over with. I'm not going to beat into the news a whole lot, but I'm going to bring up just a few things. Uh, of course, everybody probably already knows, you know, China's got Taiwan pretty much surrounded. And uh, they're shooting off live uh missiles and rockets and whatnot in a supposed to be a live munitions training scenario uh you know where this goes who knows but it, this can this can turn off bad and you know i right now I, I honestly you know with the war in russia and pending war in the pacific we're, we're we're probably at a uh closer to World War Three than we've ever been in my lifetime. And uh, I just hope for the best and that's all we can do. But next thing I'm gonna bring up about the uh, everybody's talking about the monkeypox. Oh monkeypox is coming. It's bad, yeah. All right, you know there's one guaranteed way that you're not gonna get monkeypox and that's abstinence. You know, you all practice abstinence and you ain't gonna have to worry about it. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. And uh, and, and all yeah, in North Carolina, uh, this month is national. Well, not national, but uh, uh, it may be national. I don't know, but I know in North Carolina, this is prepared this month. You know? uh, we all, if you're watching this channel, you pretty much, you know, you're into prepping, or you're learning about prepping, or you're new to prepping, or you're advanced in prepping. Either way, you know. You, Every month's prepping month for us. People like us, we prep all the time. And uh, that's, the way, that's the way it should be. You know, if you do, you do. Great. If you don't, shame on you. When the time comes, you're going to need them preps. You ain't got them. Uh, but, yeah, Lord Cooper, he decided to stick his nose in there and make a comment about how everybody needs to be prepared. Uh, yeah, whatever, Cooper. <laughs> You ain't telling us nothing we don't already know. Anyway, I'm going to roll on with that now. Uh, I'm going to hit a couple prepping topics for today. And, uh, you know, you, you, everybody hollering, water, 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 stop water. Yeah, that's true. You need to get as much as you can get. Because that's guaranteed. If you ain't got water, you ain't going to make it. Uh, now, a lot of, you know, you you got bottled water if you've got water filtration that's great uh, but in a shtf situation you know drinking drinking a good cold glass of water is great when you're working and you, you sweat and everything but sometimes you know you you won't get your little something to add in there and uh, there's all kinds of drink mixes and powders and uh, stuff like that. And I mean, they're they're good. They're great. You know, I, I like them. I use them. Uh, you know, I would if that's not something that you have in your preps. That's something I, I you know, probably won't start looking at getting. I mean, they're cheap. You, you can get all different kinds of flavors. Uh, you, there, there's a lot of them out there. They come in, you know, little pocket sizes. They got some that mix it up a half a gallon at a time, uh, you know, and uh, it's, it's good to have. And there's also other things you got like uh, Tang. I, mean, I don't know if all y'all remember Tang, but I'm, some of you probably do. That is a uh, drink mix. It's orange flavored. It's supposed to be high in vitamins. Uh, when I was growing up, that used to be what the astronauts drank. You know, that's what that's how they got their fame. But we stock that. Uh, we have uh, Gatorade mixes. Uh, we have, uh, I think we have some Country Time uh, pink lemonade uh, stored up. And uh, all this is just, it's just water mixes. And that's something, you know, to help, you know, when the day is going by, you know, have your nice cool drink. Because you probably ain't going to be able to have a cold one. You ain't going to have no ice. But, you know, at least something with some flavor to it. Besides, I mean, water is about as bland as you can get. And, uh, you know, have some, you know good flavor drink with your meal and, and everything. And uh, might might just be something to help you get through the day. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, sanitation 
in SHTF. Uh, there, what, what I'm going to try to do with this is the last time I was I was on here, I spoke about uh, security and stuff, and at another later date, I'm going to go back into that into some more in-depth stuff, and that's like today, I'm going to go into some sanitation, and I'm not really going to go into a whole lot of deep details about it, but I am going to bring up some stuff, and then at a later date, I'll come back and revisit it with some more in-depth uh, information and stuff, but sanitation in SHTF, and, I, uh, and I'm pretty much speaking long-term uh, SHTF, you know, a couple possible weeks, months, even longer, you know, but there's going to be things that you're going to have to deal with, and that's one is keeping your body clean. Uh, that's something that you're going to have to do some way or another. I mean, stock you up some soaps. Uh, it, now, like us, we live near a large creek, and also we live near a river. So you know, it's not going to really be too difficult for us here to basically take a bath or rig up a shower system. They got all kinds of camp showers that you can get and everything, and uh, you know you can just heat you up some water and at least give you what we call Saturday night special. And uh, but you, you got to keep your body clean, you know, and and that's not just for your benefit. But that's also for you members of your team, your mag, you know, you start getting a little wild smell, a little gamey smell going on, you know, people's going to notice that, and then you're going to notice it on other people too. So, try to keep you, you know, your bodies, you know, as clean as possible, you know, you got your private areas, you definitely want to keep clean, you got your underarms, and you know, any, any other place, your whole body, you know, it's not going to clean it all, you know, and, uh, that I mean, not only does it help with you feeling better and not smelling so gamey, uh, it you know it, it's a good hygiene is a health uh, deal too. You know, if you if you if your skin's dirty or something like that, you scratch yourself, you cut yourself, especially in SHTF, uh, you got a possibility, a strong possibility of developing an infection. Or uh, even worse, I mean, you can get, you know, get tetanus, uh, blood poisoning. Uh, there's all kinds of things that can go wrong with, you know, just a small cut, a small scratch. Uh, you know, any any open wound on the skin, and you can get that bacteria travel into that wound, and uh, you could be setting up for something that you don't really want nothing to do with, and you ain't gonna really have no way of treating it. So. Uh, I hope your immune system really up to snuff because that may be all you have to to fight an infection. Uh, so you know, keep your body clean. That, not for yourself, at least for your fellow man. That you know, you know, pretty close quarters sometimes. And you know, I know I don't like to smell somebody that smells like they ain't had a bath in a week. And, uh, I'm sure y'all wouldn't either. And another thing, you know, we're going to be dealing with is. Uh, all these preps and stuff that we have, uh, these things come in containers and cans and bottles and all. You, know, you try to reuse as much of that stuff as you can, but some of it's just not going to be reusable. You're going to have to find a way to deal with it because trash is going to pile up. And the, probably the best way I know to deal with it is some of the items that you're going to have to dispose of, say like plastics, for example, but I mean, you're just basically going to have to dig a hole and try to burn as much of this material as you can. Now, your paper products and stuff that the packages may come on, you know, you can use that for as a fire starter or uh, stuff like that. Or, I mean, if, if the inside of it's clean, they're right on you. Can write you some notes on that thing, you know. You can use it, you know, it's paper, you can write on it. There's all kinds of things you use for, you, you know, if you got bottles and stuff, and, uh, they're reusable. I mean, fill them up with something else. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can uh, work with some water and get it sterilized and everything and put it in a bottle and use for later. Uh, 
you can in jars that you have. Of course, you know to reuse them. Same with the with the bands. Now the lids themselves. Some people say that they can reuse them. I I don't know if I really trust something like that. But what you can do, is you can use them to store some dry stuff in. You know, if you got a a jar, with, you know, lid and band, and uh, you've opened it, you've used the contents out of it, but you got half a bag of rice that you cooked, and you want, so, you know, you put that half a bag of rice in that jar, put it up, and you'll be fine. I mean, no, it might keep forever or nothing like that, but it'll keep it, you know, keep the bugs out of it, keep the dirt and everything else, and you know, you have you some. Uh, keep your food clean uh, just little stuff like that and another thing we're going to have to deal with too everybody's got to go to the bathroom and that is a uh, that that's that you basically going to probably need to construct some type of outhouse now you know you'll have to dig a hole and build a small try to make this thing as light as possible because there's going to be times that hopefully you and hopefully you're not by yourself and you're going to have some help moving it you'll have to move this thing because that, that hole's going to fill up and it's not going to be pretty and uh, you're going to have to cover it back up so you know I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it as clean as I can but you know basically it, it's 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 going to be nasty so and that's something that every single body is going to have to deal with. And uh, everybody goes to the bathroom. So you you want to keep this in one central location. You want to keep it as far away from your main areas, I guess, so to speak, as you can. I mean, they, they reason people back in the old days when they had outhouses, they put these things far away from the house. It's because, you know, it is an unsanitary condition that can be set up. And excuse me a minute, I need to. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. They, you know, they built this. They built them things away from the house as far as they could. I mean, you don't want to have to walk out through the woods. To go use the bathroom i mean especially in the middle of the night uh when you do you don't want to go by yourself but dealing with i'm just going to call it raw sewage because that's pretty much what it is uh that there's a lot of diseases that can come up from this if it's not taken care of properly uh what i would probably do is you try to dig a hole i mean four or five foot deep maybe two foot square and i mean that that can hold some material in there and um you you're gonna have i don't really know about dispersing toilet paper down into there uh i'm assuming it'll break down and it would be fine uh, but there's other things that you don't want to put down in there such as uh, I, I wouldn't be putting feminine products down there uh, that's probably something that you're just going to want to burn and dispose of it that that would be probably the best way to deal with that part uh, I don't know how those materials would work in in a basically homemade septic tank like that I know the, the ground itself will absorb a lot of the liquids, uh, the solids would would stay in there, and what my thoughts are on that is have a bag of lime in, in, in there, you know, when you go, you do your deal, you know, just put you a little bit of lime down in the hole and try to, you know, cover up what it is that you've done and, and hopefully that'll help the breakdown process you know uh, like I say you know after a period of time that that hole's going to have to that outhouse will have to be moved there'll have to be another hole dug and what you put placed in that old hole that's going to have to be covered 
and you want to want to keep these in an area that that you want to designate on the property as a bathroom. Uh, I mean, you don't want to have it near your garden areas or where you keep your animals or stuff like that or anything because you know it's just not not sanitary so anyway that's pretty much all i've got like i say i'm going to hit back on these topics later on when i have some I, i'll have some better information to bring forth to you and not make it sound like i'm just rambling on but i'm just trying to right now give people especially new preppers or people that's not into prepping and thinking about it or whatever give them some ideas on things to think about on what may need to be required in a shtf and for those that don't know shtf means shit hits the fan and that is a lower level of it you got another one and that that is one that we refer to as Tio to walking and that one is the end of the world as we know it and I know it sounds corny but that's just how preppers refer to certain things and stuff but anyway uh, y'all have a good day I hope the evening's good I hope the rest of the week's good we got the weekend coming up I'm going to try to get a Canon video going I know my wife she does all the canning I mean I help out when I can and do what I can but uh, it's gonna be it you know what she what her schedule is if uh, if it's possible and and we we got the opportunity we'll we'll do some canon of some kind this weekend I hope if not then we will do it at another time but there will be some canon videos put on there I promise you so y'all stay low stay ready and if you're hearing this, you are the resistance.